All right, we are live with the finals. Finals of the week. Chicago Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah. This is our kind of uh, third and fourth place players right now. So this, I don't want to say this is the bottom group of players, but it somewhat is. Yeah. It's not our top two teams, but it's our third and fourth placed. So they're getting ready right now. We got everybody signed up, logged in, ready to go. Our first match is going to be on Volsky Industries. Interesting to note about teams Earth and Wind, correct? Earth and Wind? Yep. Is that the last time these guys faced off, it was a real nail-biter of a game. Two and yeah. one, very close games. Wind ended up taking the match, but it was very close. This time around, though, unfortunately, we have a couple subs, so it's not too ideal. But we're going to really see them kind of playing for bragging rights right now and kind of see what they can do. Mm-hmm. So we'll uh, we'll switch off here so we can see the teams getting ready. So we see their initial picks here. Uh, no big surprises. There is, let's see, on Team Earth. Let me get the tags up here so everyone can see who's playing. That's a good idea. Although they are opposite colors. So we're hoping that our quality this time is going to be a lot higher than what we've seen before. But uh, we'll let you guys be the, the judges on that. Uh, definitely keep us posted on volume levels as well because that's something we've been monitoring. Um, okay, so two capture point map really can be challenging to take both points, but it's possible. We know a lot of teams struggle though. Alright, we've got Facing off, we've got a Rhine on one team, not no Rhine on the other team, so that'll be an interesting setup here. They might have a little bit of trouble with Team Earth pushing through this choke without a Rhine to provide some shielding, but they just look like they're running through. Yeah. We got Nerezuri they're still holding it down. Trying to hold them back here, but it's kind of losing the point. We got SJ Ripper down. Somebody's on the point. A lot of action here. Trying to just pick everything up here. Dan, though, able to kind of keep the team together. Dan Zave is a key down. damage dealer. Uh, him and Zave are more or less arch rivals here in this <laughs> match. Both damage dealers, usually uh, Zave doing the Pharah. We got Dan popping his ult there, trying Already. to clear up some enemies. Doing a really good job picking up support from SJ Ripper, though. Keeps him up, which is looking good. This point's looking pretty dicey. We've got the uh, the win team does not have a good spawn for this, and if you start to fall behind on the point, it can be really easy to just completely lose control, and this is kind of what we're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. This is uh, arguably an easier point than B, of course, but still you can hold off for a pretty long while if you, if you play your cards right. Unfortunately, the cards were not played very well. Nope, there they go past the halfway down. mark. There you go. So it looks like Team Wind is going to be pulling back a little bit. Um, going to try and hold it down here, but they got six and a half minutes to hold this point. So that's going to be tough. Tough or part of the plan? <laughs> I, ideally, part of the plan is not sacking the point. I do like the dual. So I do like the Ryan Zarya dual wielding on this point here. It kind of keeps everybody at bay. Let's see. <laughs> It can definitely be strong, but they, if you've noticed, they've already cracked through in this beginning point. Now it's just a matter yeah. of getting off a couple picks, and we've got Xave, who's looking... I wish I was better at selecting these characters, but he's coming up behind him with the all. Dan, though, Ooh, picks Dan him up has got real him in the quick. Corner. He's not going to be able to make it out of here. He's in the corner trying to get that health kit, but Dan does a great job of preventing him mm -hmm. from really doing much anything, while the rest of the team, though, has got to deal with the push on the point, and they're falling apart. And you know Dan immediately recognized, he goes, I'm going to go after that damage dealer because he knows Zave is a big key player. Potentially oh right here. boy. Got That's Link in two. there, big res. And two you know we're going to have Howell's going to get his ult up as well. This is going to be big, but they got to watch out for Kawhi Senpai's ult, which they do. Nice job, bud. Wow. Oh, Kawhi Senpai, who also was a uh, hero highlight of last week as well. They're able to hang on tight here. Uh, so now, if you'll notice this is almost the exact reverse of the last point. Team wins, definitely has control over this point. A much closer respawn. This is what makes this point difficult to take compared to the other one. So you're seeing them slowly starting to stabilize as they start to bring it in here. They should be able to hold this point. And it looks like one they will. more tick to go, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely very close. You're within that one tick range, but... Yeah, they fended they, them off, though. They did what they were supposed to. Now, they are really holding back, though. They were really like, holding that back line. They didn't move up very much with that opportunity, which is fine. They're still collecting themselves. You can see Ryan there moving up just a little bit. Wind has got to watch for the flankers big time. Yes. He's it. You'll notice, though, Earth's got a lot of good good setup here. They're really... Uh, Ooh, oh, Nightmare. Night Nightmare. Ooh. Nightmare trying to pick him up, but Dan's not yeah. going to let that happen. Nightmare, I would say he almost waited a little bit. It was like he was going to enjoy that that <laughs> moment of triumph, but no. They didn't happen this time. they got to be ready for these flankers. But Dan doing ah. a good job keeping down Xave. That's going to be key if they're expecting to win this match, and they're already burning down to four minutes right now. Yep. Yeah, they're under that mark. That's good. Ooh, it's good if you're a Wind fan. Well, yeah. Not so good if you're an Earth fan. But as we know, the chat is pretty much exclusively Dan fans, so really, yeah. I guess, it is good. Yeah, Dan is the uh, definitely the overdog. The overdog. The overdog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a lot of alts coming up here for Team Win. But again, we know we talked a lot in this series around alt management, and these teams can really make mm -hmm. something happen if they get some good ultimates. There. And we know there's a lot of talking going on right now. Howell sure. popped off an alt. I don't know. Maybe it was needed. Maybe it wasn't. But right now, he pretty much secures and buys his team a lot more time. Well, you could argue that even if it didn't have to heal a number of players, it scared off uh, Team Earth there because they saw it pop off. They knew immediately, back off, back off. We're not going to do anything. Absolutely, and they've got. You know, three minutes, they burn down half this timer. So way in way better shape than it was before. We've got some major alts up here. I think Nirazari is actually doing a really good job at this run. Very, very aware of where the team's coming in. See how he's pocketing go. back? Here we oh, go. God. Oh, so God. now we got this initiation no. coming up. Xave, though, pounding. Wow. Our Mercy knows that she has res. Here we go. Nirazari up for a big alt there. Catches two. Stops Nightmare's alt. He's big in kind of a two, tough though. spot, but we've got... Potentially Link coming back if he can get there, but they've only got one charge left. It's not going to be enough, and they lose no nope. the point. Close games. So. That goes to Earth. Yes. Team Earth manages to cap our first point. Is this mine or yours? The no, chairs. You sure? Yeah. All right. All right. Good game. Good first game. Yeah. You know, a lot of time. You know, unfortunately. On this matchup, we do have a, a number of subs that have entered into the team, um, mm -hmm. which can always be tough. You know, we notice on the first league run through, players struggled on their new teams with their new teammates, understanding who was good at what role and where everybody fit into the composition. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until much later on that people started to realize, you know, wait a minute, like you're a really good DPS, I'm a really good healer, let's keep this going. Um, Let's combine those alts. We're, you know, Absolutely. rather than just popping them off when you can. We saw a lot of independent play, you would say, yes. in that first week. So again, just to kind of remind everybody of where we're at, Team Wind was definitely the dominant team on the first go around, right? They won. Yeah, yes, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Wind, yeah, Wind won. Uh, that, yeah, but they were neck and neck fights. Mm -hmm. So I think wins coming back. They've they've done this before, um, and they're hoping to prove that they're a better team than her. Yeah. I wish it, I had the maps listed here because I wanted to see what we had played. I, I don't have that info mm -hmm. in front of me, but it would be helpful to see what their strengths are. We see a Kwai sent by Symmetra, which we haven't seen yet at no. all. But we also see a Dan. Uh, Widow. Oh, a couple early picks, I bet. Yep. We've got Dan is our lead, actually, for Team Win. We've got Xav, who's our lead for Team Earth. So those mm -hmm. are our team leaders. That's who the teams are kind of built around and what they're successful at. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of stuff popping off here. The team's got to be careful and kind of methodical. Oh, Dan trying to sneak around. Ooh. Fancy spread. All right, we're going to see what Dan can do in the back here as he kind of starts to to line up behind the point. Probably is going to try and take down Xave there. Clips him, but not enough to take him out. And now they know that they're there. We'll see what they can do to respond to it. Kwai Senpai goes down. That's not good if you need that teleporter up. If she's not up, you're losing the ability and really her strength. 
and Dan now just taking those picks. They're picking them apart. Team wins should be just charging in here right now. They got two big picks, three big picks. Here we go. Nightmare though, unbelievably good Roadhog. We've seen him time and time again just totally carry that team. But Seiko picking up the kills there, and they're on this point. Wow, that really, was quick. That was pretty much just as quick as Team Earth took it. But it looks like Team Earth might be considering. No, they're not. But I think the other. I mean, the other thing you had to realize: both teams did quite the switch up here in terms of, of players. Maybe not so much in roles. Maybe a little bit. But I mean, you saw a lot of switches happen. Oh, we just Dan got a quick pick up there. Another pick here. So this is another thing we've noticed here with these teams, and they've done a really good job of this. So they recognize that Dan's a big threat. He's sniped them. He's kind of taking the team apart. And they switched to a Winston to deal with it, which is, I think, a really smart play. Seiko picking up a quick pick on Xave. Now they're really getting in here. This is looking like Win might be able to pick this up here. Here we go. It's not looking not looking good for them. Demitis pops his ult, but we've also got Link's ult as well. Is he going to pop it now to try and keep the momentum before he dies? Nope. That's not so great for them. So this is very similar again. Team Earth did a similar push in the beginning. Oh, oh, gets popped off. Defense Matrix does not keep him up, but Dan is able to snipe him down. They don't even manage to get a tick, though, as Link is down. Sometimes not going for the big five-person alt is the way to go with Mercy. You kind of lose the ability to pop those tempo alts. Maybe keeping one person up, especially if it's a tank or another big player, could be helpful. But they're going to have an opportunity to push this back in, and the reality is they've got loads of time to work with here, which is definitely where you want to be. Dan's trying to make something happen here. Xave though, switching. So we've got both team captains right now playing on, win on uh, Widows, trying to take out the other team's pretty much best player. I think Zave's doing a really good job of that. Wow. They're pushing in. Team wins not making anything happen here. There's the That's battle of the Widows right now. We just missed a, an epic battle between Dan and Zave there. And I have a feeling that's going to be an ongoing battle, we hope. Yeah. So, the, so we got win team again. we still got just under five minutes. They're still making good time. Absolutely. I mean, especially if you're able to be... Oh, Dan, picking up two right there real quick. Wow. Again, Dan on Zave. That's not, now that's two Widow shots by Dan there. Oh, absolutely. We got... Oh, he's not within the Tranquility, which is going to allow him to chew, just pop these alts like crazy. We've got a big ult by Narazuri right there, picking up three. Oh, is he going to be able to get that Zen, though? That Zen's lit. Slams right into Kawhi Senpai, but he dies for it. We're going to... Ooh, Link out again. We'll say the Earth team is doing a great job of keeping Link out of these fights. This is the second time we're... A potential Mercy alt would have really switched all this stuff around. So we'll see if Link's able to stay up, keep his team alive, and then potentially pop off a clutch res to get him to go here. It's been very close games. Ooh, close shot. We've got Hal coming up on our uh, on our Lucio here, and he's been doing a pretty good job popping those alts, especially as they initiate. Keeping the speed boost up. You know, that's one of the big benefits of having uh, Lucio on your team is the speed boost. A lot of people tend to leave it just on the healing, and it's not exactly what you want to be using that for all the time. So he switches to heal up his team. Saying hi to SJ Ripper as they prepare outside the front, wait for Dan to stream back in here. And more likely than not, they're looking to make a pick here. Get a lot of background noise here, you know. I got we got some we got some kid really getting into uh, Overwatch. I don't know if you hear that. Oh yeah, that's very loud, loud crowd here. <laughs> that's none of our players, unfortunately, or fortunately. All right, Seiko's got us all trying to make something happen. They're slowly inching in here. Really, the win team is relying on these big picks, ooh, to make something happen. A Stray Ripper focusing on Xav. That's an opportunity here. He could pop his ult. They all get ulted down. And they're right back at the beginning here. And Link not able to stay alive. A 
And the, the issue here is that Team Earth is not spending its alt as needed to really contest these pushes. And we're going to have a big alt battle here. And as a team on the offensive on Volskaya or any two capture point, you don't want to be behind in the alt economy. It's really hard to take a point when the other team can just completely take apart your alt. And we got a big alt coming down there. Oh. Team's falling apart there. Opened up a great alt uh, by Narizuri there. But you know what? This is it. This is Link's opportunity here. He's been waiting for this. Mm -hmm. Gotta dive in. Pop those alts. Pops up yeah, two. Yeah, there we go. Now they're in unbelievably good shape. They gotta deal with Demitist though. He's able to res his team, which he does. He did. Now all of a sudden, it's right back to where they were at before, which again is not a good spot to be in. Oh, Ooh. nails that alt right in time. Are they able to do anything though? They're starting to fall apart. Win team now. He's able to get Earth to burn their alts, but at what cost? That cost is the point. And they're going to have to let it go. We're looking at one minute left. Wow. Now that's the kind of matches we were, we were used to with these two teams. Absolutely. We're going to be surprised that Dan is staying on this Widow. Very persistent. Absolutely. He really needs to get a couple of good picks here, but he can really open up his team. Ooh, oh, misses two shots there. That could have really turned it around. That Winston's really making it tough for Dan to make anything happen. Very good job on Winston's part, though. Who is that, Nightmare over there? Yeah. He might have an opportunity here. SJ Ripper opened up this team last time with his ult, and we got Winston, though, has got his ult. Should be able to get out of there. No problem. And Dan goes down. Ooh. Narizuri sees an alt opportunity there from the back lines, especially oh, those two up, healers. Sneaking up. What's he gonna oh, do? Oh, is he gonna do it? Oh, he's trying to he's trying to corral him in there. Ooh, oh, doesn't almost. hit anybody. That was tough, but you could see he was trying to get both the healers in one strike. I think he got greedy. Link though down again is gonna be tough yeah. to do anything. Dan switching to the tracer, knowing that he can make this point last quite a while. Yeah, we've seen this before. I think we need to stay fixated on Dan as he hops around. Nope. Ah. So it looks like Team Wind is going to drop Volskaya here, unless Link's able to get in there with a big ult, which he does. What? Maybe I spoke wow. too soon. Gets Dan up. He's got it. Always ready to get GG. Angle. Oh boy, here we go. Here's some good, good pick. Whoa, oh, nice there. pick. And popping the alt on the point, pushing everyone off. Wow. Big kills by Seiko there. This could be it, but those oh, Mercy Reds. Oh my god. Really good effort there by yeah. Seiko there. Fantastic. But it's just not gonna be enough. That it was really even helped. if they don't win, that was one of the best plays. I that was great timing. Really close. Game. At what cost? Yeah. Wow. So that takes Earth Team up one right now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, who won last time? Earth? Uh, no. The first, the last time this team matched off, Earth did not win. So Earth back with the vengeance yeah. here. Trying hard. Awesome ult here. I remember yeah. this. This is in essence what kind of kept his team alive here. Yeah. Oh, boom! Bam. Great counter ult. Great moves there. Cleans him up. A nightmare with the follow-up on Winston there. Very nice. Seiko, another really clutch play there. Almost kept his team up if it wasn't for that Mercy rest. Mm -hmm. You know, the Mercies in this game are really the deciding factor, so very close games. And we've all seen what Mercy